Have you heard the term no bystander? Okay. It's relatively new, but I think it's very meaningful. It means nobody's a bystander. No one. Fleet Activities Yokosuka recently kicked off the 13th annual Sexual Assault Awareness and Prevention Month with style at the Fleet Recreation Center on the base. We used to say that there were bystanders and there were, there were people who were involved. By virtue of wearing this uniform, we have to be involved. We cannot stand by. So. Along with what you may expect in the form of display boards, handouts, and a cake cutting, the event organizers mix it up with something you don't see every day, a freeze mop. And the freeze mop, I think it was actually uh, it was a great way to, wear, uh, to raise awareness. People see that, you know, they read it like, oh, you know, portraying hopefully the next time someone's thinking, you know, and they're, when they're in a bad position or potentially in a bad position coming into something, they, uh, you know, they remember something that, you know, that we do. As a victim advocate for U.S. Naval Hospital Yokosuka, and on a more personal level, raising awareness for these issues is important to Petty Officer Maddox. It's very fulfilling, of course. I mean, you know, you, you don't look for recognition when you're doing something like this. I think just being there and able to help some, support someone that's going through something, I think, is a reward enough. Uh, there was a time in my life to where I wasn't able to speak up for myself. And uh, once I was afforded the opportunity to be able to speak up for myself, I said I was going to do anything and everything I could to help everybody out in the future. The freeze mob was only the start of the month, and there are sure to be many other opportunities to come together to challenge these issues facing all of us. Reporting from Fleet Activities Yokosuka, I'm Petty Officer Chase Holly.